Hi, I'm Josh Murdoch. And I'm Jenny Navarez. We're both instructional designers here at Valencia. And today, we'd like to speak to you about one specific skill for using Blackboard. We're going to get started by talking about a couple key areas in Blackboard Learn 9.1. Today's agenda, we're going to talk about general Blackboard information, the Blackboard entry point and modules, edit mode on and off, the course menu, dashboard, control panel, including files, course tools, grade center, and style. Some of the basic general info for Blackboard includes courses automatically being loaded into Blackboard. You don't have to worry about that. Students access based on the start and end dates. It's key to remember this. The students don't have access to your course until the actual course starts. There's a reserve maintenance window every Sunday morning from 2 a.m. to 6 a.m. Keep this in mind if you make any due dates during this time. Uh, Firefox is the preferred browser and you can run a browser check available on the entry point of Blackboard or inside our LTAD homepage. And some support you have, 24-hour support, you can call 407-582-5600 or email us at webcthelp at valenciacc.edu. Now we're going to go into demoing Blackboard login and demoing the Blackboard course entry page. The easiest way to log in is on the Valencia homepage, you'll notice the quick links. Under quick links, you'll notice the online courses. Click on online courses and log directly into Blackboard. This was your username for Atlas. <coughs> This is the same username and password you use for Atlas. It would be also prudent to note that notice on the top right hand side, we will put any maintenance windows or big announcements about downtimes right on that home page where you just logged in. Now we're on the Valencia Blackboard home page. A couple key areas you'll notice is My Announcements, which will have any announcements for any courses you are teaching or enrolled in. My Courses, which will show your courses you're teaching or enrolled in as a student. Uh, my Calendar will show you any course entry, um, any course entry calendars um, for any courses that you're enrolled in or taking classes in. And the On Demand Help at Learning Center. This is where you can find some great video tutorials. Uh, one of the key features about My Courses module is the settings. One of the things you can do as you go throughout semester to semester is change which courses are displayed and what order they're displayed in. Um, you can do this by clicking the little gear icon in the top right hand corner. That's a great idea specifically for those of us that may end up as the semesters go by with lots and lots of courses listed. And don't forget, typically the courses are around for about a little over a year, so you might want to take some courses off that have went by. Um, as you notice, I have lots and lots of courses in mine, but I have a majority of them turned off. You can do this by clicking um, on the course name or clicking off the course name, um, depending on what you want displayed. You can also reorder the courses by um, moving to the left-hand side. You'll see it turns into a four-way arrow. You can then grab, click on it and move it up or down in whatever order you prefer. Uh, then you just need to make sure you go down to the bottom and click Submit. Now you have seen it's successfully updated and you see it's changed orders. Uh, as you go into one of your courses, I'm going to let you check out um, some of these key features in just a moment. The key feature that is in, in Blackboard is what is called edit mode on and off. This is only available during the instructor view. Um, this is what gives you the semi-student view. It's not a true demo student like in WebCT if you're used to WebCT. This is a semi-student view that shows you what the students see on your screen. 
There is no Builder, Instructor, or Student tabs or view available in Blackboard. As, you're in a, as an instructor, you'll use the edit mode on and off to see these different views. Uh, the course menu is a default course menu set up by us. Um, you'll see some of the key areas that we think all courses will need, but you can decide how you want to customize this course menu. It's very much customizable. You're able to change names, you're able to move things around, and you can add the tools you'd like for your students to use. Um, it's also easy to rearrange and add these items. Now we'll go out into actually demoing the edit mode on and off, and also demoing the course menu. I'm going to go into a basic course. This is probably what your course looks like when you first go in. Um, we do have the course menu, a general course menu set up for you. Uh, also, you'll notice the edit mode on and off in the upper right hand corner. Um, right now it's edit mode on, so I see it as an instructor would see it. If I turn it off, it would give me a similar view to what students see. So some of the things you notice that I can't change any options in my course menu. Also, if I went into a um, particular area, I would see it as students see this. I'm going to go ahead and turn this back on and show you in the course menu some of the new features. Um, one of the things you'll notice is the subheadings. Um, these are not clickable areas. These are kind of dividers. We've set up a couple subheadings for you already. Also, you'll see the dividers right below. Um, in the different areas, you have areas that are what are called content areas. I'm going to click on the one called content. Um, you could rename this if you'd like, but what these are is these are content areas to hold information. So think of it as a folder to hold additional content, assessments, interactive tools, communication tools, um, messages, um, all those different kind of areas. You'll also notice um, tools. So a discussion board is a certain tool, so this is a link to that tool item. So this will take you right into the, the tool. Um, below you'll see some of the other things available. Um, we have put in two resources for you. One is called technical support. This will link you right to our technical support page. Um, and also link the students right to this page so they're able to get the 24-7 support. Now, I think I heard you state earlier that we would be able to customize this course menu. If I don't use or if I don't like the name that says content on my course menu, I'm able to change that, correct? That is correct. At this time, um, the easiest way to do almost anything in Blackboard, you'll notice drop downs next to items. And this is the easiest way to change things or see what options are available for an item. Um, notice as I click this content area that I'm able to rename this link. I could click on here and easily rename it. Um, and then I would click the green arrow to approve and save this. Um, also, you'll notice that you can hide the link. So if for some reason, you don't want your students to have access to a certain link at the time or access to a certain tool, you could always hide that. Um, you'll notice that there's a bar with a slash through it. Um, some of the other things, if you do want to add a new content area or add a new tool to the toolbar, um, the easiest way is to go to the plus sign up top. And you can select whatever one you want. Content areas are blank folders um, that hold additional information or additional files or items or assessments. Uh, the, think of it as your units, your modules, or a folder to hold those units or modules in. The blank page is a place where you can edit. I like to think of this as a blank website where you can put information, you can put hyperlinks, you can put pictures, that type of thing. Create tools is a tool link. Um, this tool link will go right to a discussion board, your groups, your my grades, um, a calendar, those type of tools. Course link will link you someplace in this course. So it could link you directly to a discussion board. I'd like to use this example if you added an Azure instructor discussion board forum. This would, you could create a link right in your course menu to the Azure instructor board forum. So that would be a great option for me to link to things that I want my students to get to often, right? Throughout that's, the course. 
That's correct. You can easily link to anything in the course menu that they use often, especially tools that they would use all the time or certain areas. Uh, you can also create external links for URLs, subheaders, and dividers. So the next thing I want to talk about is the dashboard. The dashboard can be a great course entry point. Um, in Blackboard, you can decide what you want to be at your course entry point. And the great thing about this as an entry point is they'll see their, all their announcements, all their upcoming calendar entries, and also any to-dos, those course due dates that are coming up. Um, they can also enter in their own tasks to complete and see what's new in the course, what has recently become available or new content that has been put in the course. I'm going to quickly just show you the dashboard here. You're able to click on it. It's available for you. Um, and this is one of the choices that you could make available for your students too. Some of the other things is creating and editing content. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about building content, creating assessments, adding interactive tools, but we'll really go into detail on this uh, with the ABC course called Adding Content. Um, I'll show you how you can drag and rearrange items. Also, click the drop down for different options um, as I showed you in the course menu. Um, very similar. So when you're actually into a content area, you'll notice a couple options. Um, one would be building content. That's where you create items, create blank folders, create pages, add YouTube videos, add pictures, add URL links. Create assessments is where you're talking about your test, your assignments, your surveys, your safe assignments. Add interactive tools. These are discussion boards, blogs, journals, groups, chats. These are your, a lot of your communication tools and also you're able to add or assign a textbook to the course so they can find their textbook for this course. So I'm going to show you real quick how to drag and rearrange items and I'll also um, pick things from the drop down for different options. So if I added a quickly uh, content item really quick you'll be able to see how I can change um, these items. So I'm going to add something really quick into here. Now I have options. And when I click a drop down, you'll see several different kinds of options. One of the things I like to point out is if you delete this, it is gone. It's deleted. And there is no undo button on this. And it'll ask you, are you sure that it's OK to delete? and I'll go click OK. Um, similar, you can also uh, move things around. So if I have several items here, I can move around content up and down in what order I want it. Um, I would also like to remind you that on the, on the course menu, it's the same thing. You're able to move items up and down. And when you click the drop down, you'll have different options. If you click delete, if it's a content area or a blank page, it will delete that item from the course and there is no undo. Things such as tools, it's just linking to that tool or the course link is just linking to that. So it won't delete those from the course. It will warn you about this, but please be aware there is no undo button for that. Now I'd like to talk to you about the control panel. The instructor only has this option. This is where you'll find files, course tools, the grade center, customization, the style of the course, and packages and utilities where you perform course copies and import material. As you scroll down, if you're an instructor in the course, you'll notice the control panel. As I said, this is the area where you do several of the different things, such as adding files, which would be available under the files area. Also, course tools would list all the tools available in this course as an instructor's options. Some of the key areas I'd like to point out is this is where you actually um, make available 
uh, or access your test surveys and pools. You can also turn on Respondus Lockdown Browser. Or for safe assigns, this is where you can go in and manually submit a safe assign. These are instructor only areas that you could go into and have the control over these tools. The Grade Center is another important one. This is where you'll actually be doing your grading. Um, there's the needs grading feature, which will show you what has been submitted for assignments and tests and what needs to still be graded. And there's a full Grade Center that you can access. Customization. This is where you can change the style of your course. Um, some of the things that you probably want to change possibly are the course entry point. If you click style, you would see that you could change the course entry point very easily. Um, this is also where you could change the menu, um, how it displays. But the course entry point, you can select anything that's on your course menu, such as your dashboard, your announcements. Um, Another area would be if you created a content area called Getting Started or Start Here. This would be a great entry point for your course. I do want to point out one, one key thing to remember about the entry point. That is that when you look at that drop-down box, you're seeing every option that's currently in your course menu that you have chosen not to hide from students. So, for example, if in this particular example he chose to hide announcements in the course menu, that would not be an option in the entry point. The information has to be visible in the course menu in order to be a viable option for the entry point. Another important thing to remember too is any content area that doesn't have currently content underneath will not show as a course entry point either. So there is a start here content area that we created for you, but right now I haven't put any content such as my syllabus or my course orientation underneath that, so I can't choose that as an entry point Do I add something there. Um, this is also where you could add a banner. Now the banner only displays on the course entry point for this, for this course. Packages, packages and utilities. And some of the key things you just want to check out here is the big thing is course copy. How do you copy a course from one semester to the next or from a development space? Um, we have lots of great resources on that available. Also, um, import. How do you import material? Um, it could be publisher material. It also could be um, if you migrated from WebCT to Blackboard. Looking for more great resources and tutorials? Check out the On Demand Learning Center. You can find that as soon as you log into Blackboard by looking in the lower right hand side of your home tab. Or you can go directly to ondemand.blackboard.com. And don't forget, there's great resources for your students available on this site too. Thanks for watching. Thank you.